Okay, what I'm going to go over today is a 3-5-2 formation and just kind of show you a way that the 3 in the back is very similar almost to 4 in the back. And how I'm going to show you that is, say we have our two center backs, one, sorry, three center backs, two, and three. So depending in possession, if we're in possession, we can stretch a little bit wider here. The right center back and left center back can come out a little bit more. Again, I like to split the field right down the middle. So if this center back stretches a little wider, I like to have one of my defensive center mids. Say that's my number six. Come in there. And there's space for him in there because now my left center back has come wide. As the ball gets switched, so as it gets switched from here to here, as this center back goes wider, I want my number eight, again this is a 3-5-2, to come in and work this side of the field. Very important for me that I just don't have one player here running up back and forth, back and forth. It becomes very predictable if he's the only one, if the number six is the only one who's going to receive the ball from here. Now if you want to take that a step further, I'll just show you a little bit more. You want to you have your number 10, so you're going to have a number 10, another center midfielder here, a 6, an 8, and now in possession, we've now gotten ourselves a little bit wider. So now, your number 8 could actually rotate up as your number 10 comes in and checks for the ball. Right? This guy will balance off, and it really depends. If he turns, it depends. He could be here as an outlet. Now, this is a three-man rotation, which is very difficult to do. I prefer to have these two just work the areas. Even if he checks out, he could check in. But I like them to split the field in half. Again, it's, it's, if you add this number 10 into it now, it becomes hard to predict. And the movement becomes difficult for the other team. If you just had your number six patrolling the whole area, A, when you swing the ball, it's hard for him to get over here quick enough. And B, it's just very predictable for the other team to deal with. So I'm going to go a little bit farther now. I'm going to show you in possession of the ball with three in the back. If your left center back gets the ball, right, left center back with the ball, he could start to make this run with the ball. What happens is your center back and your right center back take a central position as your defensive center mid drops in to make three. This gives him the freedom to go forward. And you still have another two midfielders and two forwards. So you have forward, forward, and you have another midfielder and another forward who can come in and help, and you still have the winger, right? So you're essentially taking your left center back, pushing him into attack as you maintain stability here with your right center back, center back, and defensive center mid. Again, we'll take this and show you a little bit more. Now, this is very, very similar to four at the back because now this is just a wing back. If we send him forward, this is a wing back, so center back, center back, defensive center mid, wing back, wing back. Very, very similar. All these tactics and formations are actually quite interchangeable. So let's just take another look. Now, that's with the ball, right? Without the ball, a 3-5-2 can look 5, 3, 1 comes back to pressure from behind as the target forward stays. So you have 5, 3, 1 coming back to pressure from behind and 1 up top. This is a very defensive set. Obviously, this has changed quite a bit from what I showed you in possession. All systems are different in each phase of the game. That's obviously a low block, a, a defensive organization phase. But you'll see that Chelsea plays a 3-4-3. But again, in defense, you'll see them sit in this low block where two will come back to make it a line of five, and then you'll have a line of four or three, and one and one, or a line of five, four, and one, and they'll get you on the counter.
right? Thanks for tuning in. As always, check out my blog, CoachDiBernardo.com. Also, other YouTube stations, Marcus DiBernardo. That's for all my training sessions, weekly soccer rant for a little sarcastic humor, my soccer instructional books at Amazon.com. Just look under my Author Central page under Marcus DiBernardo. My Cognitive Soccer Online Coaching Diploma course at SoccerSmartTraining.com. And also, you can contact me through email at CoachDiBernardo at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.